All right, everybody, welcome back to Pyre. Guess what? I've got my controller set up. Yay! <laughs> so hopefully it goes a lot smoother than it was. Beetle Dune, that's right. It's like Beetle Juice, but with dunes. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Not loading the campaign the right way for you. Oh. Uh, we're on the Mystic Path to Freedom. I don't care what you believe. You suck it. Consider my options. I will. Just one second. Hold on. Just real quick. Just want to check something. Okay. Let's go inside and consider my options after I talk to people. Oh wow. Oh look at her. She's all weird. I love it. Oh. Uh. Hello, Faye. How are you doing, honey? The book is not glowing, so I guess you don't get your own page. Faye seems to be recovering well since you found her. She seems fascinated by everything and everyone in the wagon. Oh, hi, mister. You're the one who knew my name. You guessed it right. You did. Well, it was easy. You got plants and shit in your hair. <laughs> and you're just insane. So I just uh, was like, that's like a fairy right there. Thank you for your hospitality. I've just been eating with the imps and talking to the wagon. This wagon, he and I are the same age, almost to the very day, but I am older by three weeks, so I am giving him a hard time. Little brother, I call him. He's a good wagon, isn't he? Yes. <laughs> he will take us very, very far. My little brother, sure, he pulls at my hair at times and I don't like it very much, but he is family. I am happy to be here with my family. Good. I thought that I had lost them all again. I thought that I had lost them all. Oh, but we have stopped now, haven't we? Then I should go outside to dance in case the scribes are watching. Okay, so yeah. Bye, mister. Bye, Faye. Smiling back at you, she prances out the door. She's so cute. Jody has a throw rug? Fashion from a howler's hide sends their ilk a clear message. Jadario says not to step on it. Okay, <laughs> I'll try not to. Who is this? What is this? A minstrel? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right, we picked up. A figure sits very still in a corner of the wagon. He is unresponsive but seems to be alive. Excuse me. You observe the man slumped in the corner of the wagon, bearing some sort of stringed instrument. You sense he lives but nothing more. It seems inopportune to ask about him now. Okay, we'll just leave the weird guy alone, I guess. What is this? Oh, this isn't like another area? Uh, Only M's can fit up there? Psh, joke's on you. You observe the ladder leading to the locked enclosure above the cabin. The wagon centrifuge must be up there. It's drive M's stare down at you with big wet eyes. Okay, I'm gonna go back outside now. You guys take care of everything while I'm gone. Let's weigh our options. Uh, having pitched camp with your companions, for once it seems you have some quiet time to spare. I want to go hang out with my man. Your fellow exiles are taking a moment to unwind. Jodaro motions for you to join them. Okay. Jody's like, come sit down. I'm like, please don't eat me. <laughs> Best get used to your new life here, reader. We seldom get such moments of reprieve. Perhaps some further study of that book shall pass the time. You could join me for a little stroll if you're feeling up to it. Always something to be forged around here. Or you could teach us more of what you know. Prepare us for the next rite. In any case, we do what we can to stay busy. Keep the sense of isolation well at bay. At certain juncture- oh, yeah. Uh, let's do... Forge for resources. Study in private. Mentor companion. A mentor companion. <laughs> Having gleaned knowledge from the Book of Rites, you can impart some of its teachings. As each exile's path toward enlightenment is personal, you will have to mentor them at one at a time. Well, uh, Hedwin, obviously, right now. We'll do the others later. I mean, I love the puppy, and I love Jadariel, but but I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna mentor Hedwin. Sure thing, friend. I appreciate the off offer. Where to begin? With this book. What does it say? He's like, I don't know, I can't read words. It's like, well, it's time to learn. <laughs> you illustrate to Hedwin some of the in intricacies of the rites, focusing on how all three in a triumvirate can move and act 
as of one mind. You sense he grasps some of the concepts. He's like, oh, math. I think I'm beginning to understand something of, of all this, my friend. Good. I taught him how to read. Um, Hedwin gains plus 50 more stamina, letting him jump and sprint more often. Hedwin and his allies regenerate stamina twice as quickly as usual. What is this? Bonds of the Sahar the Sarian Legion. Marks of the Master General. Can I pick either or? Okay. That might be just as important. Also important. Well, this is hard to like pick. I should, probably should have taught you know thought about Jadariel's more. Um. Shit. I'm gonna do this one. Martial training. Thank you for the lesson, my friend. It's given me a lot to think about. You are welcome, Hedwin. Damn, why are you so pretty? <laughs> How come he's always hanging out with Hedwin? It's like, you know, you see that face? He's just so charming, and he's nice. It doesn't yell at me. No. God, this place is so pretty. Okay, uh, let's go. Let's continue our journey onward. The path leading further west splits off, and once again your fellow exiles turn the choice of where to go over to you. Faye seems enthusiastic for whichever route you choose. <laughs> Alright. Okay, fall flat. <laughs> uh, the south route across the Jomer Valley is riddled with barren rock and bone. Faye believes those who travel this path shall be as swift as Jomer of the eight, eight scribes. Yeah. The north route across the Jomer Valley passes the remains of the Hive Titan. Faye believes those who travel this path shall be as strong as Gull of the eight scribes. Ooh, swiftness is kind of my thing, I think. I think it's kind of important to be fast in the game of rights. So we'll go fall flat and hope that we do not, in fact, fall flat. We keep talking about howlers. I've never seen one, and I'm kind of sad. Faye is behaving stranger than usual as you traverse the rocky pathways of Fall Flat. Fall Flat, the south route across the Jomer Valley is riddled with barren rock and bone. Even the wild curves of the valley avoid the oppressive heat of this place. Uh, heat is all that matters. This was the path that Jomer Minimane ran across so many times. Can you not feel his presence, him and all his friends, here in the sand and in the air and all about? Uh, Jomer Minimane, sixth of the eight scribes of the Book of Rites, known as the Brave or the Alpha Chief. An Alpha Chief that united the Kurs under a single banner and charted half the known world. Ooh, so he was like the big kahuna. like it. At first you pay it little heed, though later you observe your fellow exiles seem to have more of a lightness in their step. Perhaps it was the previous day's rest that did everyone good. Your companions gain plus one quickness for the next right. Yes. We're going over here to Scorpion Rock. Look at that thing. I would not want to live there. <laughs> no thank you! En route to the spring of Jomer, you hear all about the roving slug market, which appears to be nearby. Ruki insists you take a look after you settle in. So the slug market, a uh, crude trading post found in the downside. Commonwealth contraband sometimes finds its way to the downside, where it is traded and sold. And the spring of Jomer, according to the stars, da -da -da, the Alpha Chief hoped bathing here would cure his ail- Oh yeah, okay, so we read that already. I'm totally with Ruki. Ooh, page revealed. Ooh, slug market. Okay. Okay, hold on. Hmm. Oh, Hedwin. Hey! Uh, we're gonna read this, and then I will be right with you, beautiful. Oh no. Words. Uh, the last emperor, in the words of Gol Gol Loth Golothnian, the master general. How many nations did I scour in the name of Solium Myrrh? How many countries fell before our spears and blades? Such questions matter less to me with every passing victory. Our legions swelled across the land, and our dominion grew. The Emperor Solium Myrrh paid all this little heed. He only tended to his personal affairs. 
Our legions relished the autonomy. We did not know that the emperor cared nothing for his legions nor his people. He cared only for that which was before him. One day he learned of such things as to befit his name and vowed to seek it out. Oh, look at this. I love the artwork. I want this book to have. It's so pretty. Okay. What are you doing? Did you know this guy is probably most, more than likely, possibly an android? I'm just saying, he never moves. Hedwin motions for you to join him. While his manner is as easygoing as ever, you sense he is searching for the right words for what he's about to say. You'd ask what I did to get thrown in here. Figured I'd tell you. The others know. I was on the blood border for several years. The northern edge of the Commonwealth is a flat and vulnerable expanse. The high-wing rem remnants seized upon it at every opportunity from the cover of clouds of dar or darkness. Okay. An outrider. No real rank, but a pretty important job. Whenever the harp swooped in, was it was up to me to raise the alarm. Oh. Harps. It's like harpies. A winged race, also known as the high-wing remnants, at war with the Commonwealth. They are as coarse as their feathers. They hold themselves superior. Mmm. One day the harps came without warning. No alarm. It was a slaughter. So I heard, because I wasn't there, I was... I was with one of them. She... Look, that's a story for another time. The point is, they branded me Hedwin the Deserter before they sent me here. Ooh. Ooh. I didn't want to fight. I abandoned my post, my friends. They paid dearly for it. I ended up down here. Hedwin looks at you as his smile reappears. It's not something I like to talk about, as you can tell. But I know that you've been wondering, and you deserve to know. I made a promise to you earlier when we first met. That you'd go free as well if any of us go free. That promise might not carry that much weight, I guess, coming from a deserter. Dude, Hedwin, it was for love. I'm a little jelly, but whatever. <laughs> not even. <laughs> anyway, that's all. Thank you for hearing me out. There's not much good here in the downside, but at least the past is behind us. He leaves you there to consider his words. Dude, I ooh, I don't care. You observe the masks and robes whose old engravings and embroidery suggest a formal purpose. Some of the garments are massive, while others are so small they might fit a child. That's not what I was trying to look at. I was trying to look at what happened with this. Okay, so now we know everything about um, what happened with... Uh, headwind. While serving on the blood border, by chance he had a run-in with a lone enemy harp. They each felt a powerful connection and escaped together rather than fight each other to the death, as would have been expected. He lost contact with her after their encounter and left his post in search of her, but he was caught and exiled. In the downside, he found Jadariel, who looked after him when he was a child. Oh, so, so like he, she must have babysat him beforehand. Okay. So yeah, I've already read that part. So we know that he was in love with one of the harps, and he thinks that he- I think he's kind of punishing himself for it, you know what I mean? Like he thinks he deserves what happened to him because of all those innocent people dying. Uh, yes, let's go trade the stuff- ah! <laughs> hey guys, how's it going Mr. Greentail? Been a while and all that. Hey Ron! It's going. Oh, his name's just Ron. He's a traveling sales creature and proprietor of the Downside Slug Market. Say, how come you set up shop all the way out here? Isn't this a little out of the way? Oh, well, let's just say, you guys, you ain't my only customers. You see, Dad and I, we know this business pretty well, or pretty good. We've been around the block and so. As Ron keeps bothering, Rookie signals you in a furtive way. Here's the deal, chum. Got an informant says there's something here connected to this rights business. See if you can spot it. Should be able to pawn some of our stuff to make the trade. And don't even worry about Falcon Ron. I just love it. Um, like so, anyways, you guys get something for me or what? That black bloom you got there. I could take it off your paws if you want. Oh, could you? Could you? Is this your dad? I didn't even notice he was a person. He's got a beard and everything. Coming. I love it. Drag the black bloom to Ron's stush. 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. What if I don't want to trade it after that goofy ass laugh, dude? Fine. <laughs> hey, you know, I'll take it, Mr. Greentail, though you drive a pretty hard bargain. Now, you gonna take something off my hands here, or what? Oh, the moon crest, but what about this? Yes. That's a one-of-a-kind thing you just got there, you know. And you got yourself a real good deal for me as well, so thanks. You're welcome, Ron. Yeah. Apparently, any one of us bozos can get a little edge out of that thing during the rites. I mean, just a question of who gets to try it out. Uh, decide who shall wield it. Okay, so what does it do? Oh, I can just give it... I, I might as well give it to Hedwin, right? <laughs> After being banished by an adversary, the bearer has a chance to return immediately. Oh, good, because Hedwin's like the fastest, so that's fantastic. There you go. You're welcome. Anyways, Dad over here, his feet, you know. We've been having some trouble with his feet, getting real something or other from all the huffing around, and so you see, yeah, probably because he's got to carry his shit son and his hot dogs all the way around the freaking countryside. <laughs> Rookie indicates to you that now would be a good time to depart. All right. Uh, goodbye. See ya, Mr. Greentail. And your friend there, too. I like him. Seems real nice, you know? Don't even talk about me like that. I'm, I'm watching you and your dad. Your weird dad. Alright. As you complete preparations for the rites to commence, you notice Faye approaching. You notice, too, that she is wearing your companion's raiments. We can go home? Faye, I thought I made myself quite clear that you were not to touch those robes. Oh, I'm sorry, Miss Jadariel. I just thought that maybe you were being funny at the time. Unbelievable. She's like the Tony Stark of this group. She's like, ugh, oh, kids. <laughs> hey, uh, something's happening in the sky. I think we're up. Uh oh. Oh, no. Hedwin! <laughs> the kid's wearing his clothes. No, she's gonna compete. I just gave him the necklace. I don't know why I slap myself in the forehead. I've got a headache, and I'm like, God damn it, Faye. <laughs> Breda, what brings you to the spring of Jomia? Bath time. Why, it must have been the stars. The stars? Although it seems that your triumvirate now numbers four exiles, not the expected three. Yeah. The rules of the rites were not created for you to I wasn't establish. trying to. She put clothes on she wasn't Prepare supposed to. now to confront... Fate. Listen, they I'm not just gonna leave some the kid. Of the scribes, and surely have been longing for this chance. This guy's but smart. First, you have a choice to make. Oh. The sky burns bright once more as your next adversaries in the rights approach. Hmm. They're a bunch of dogs. <laughs> Their apparent leader is a bent old cur who regards you with a formal bow. I have a bone. I'll just toss it and we'll win every time. Yes. At his side is an intense young man. Looks it, he looks pissed. <laughs> I hail you exiles of the Nightwings, and I am grateful that you chose to grace us with your presence once again. I am called Dalbert Oldheart, and this is my son, Almer. Like, you found him? And turned him into a- is, is this like a Mowgli situation? Uh, he's an honorable old cur, bent on upholding the sacred traditions of the right with his son, Almer. He is the dutiful foster son of Dalbert Oldheart, and is very protective of him above all else. We need not greet them, father. We shall face you in the field this night, and may the victor's pyre burn eternal. But first, we offer you a token of good faith, and show of appreciation that the Nightwings have returned. Dalbert approaches you with something in his paw. You sense his motives are sincere as he hands you a small talisman. Oh, how sweet! Thank you, Dalbert. You received... A tailwind crest from Dalbert. Oh, how nice! That cur was very kind, and his son, he was so caring, wasn't he? Yes, Faye. When can we start? 
I want to help you beat them. We need three of us exactly to conduct a right, but we've got four now, besides the reader. This ought to be his call. If someone has to stand aside this time, I volunteer. No volunteering, chump. It ought to be the reader's call, remember? Very well then, reader. Who shall it be? Okay, since Jadariel... Jadariel and Hedwin both have... Enlightenment. Um, but I think I'm going to leave Jadariel this time and take the three fastest. The right shall begin forthwith. Uh, I'm gonna choose Hedwin. Hedwin. You didn't have to do this, but I'll do my best. I'm taking my fastest with me. Uh, Rookie. Um, that is true. Rookie. Don't have to tell me twice, chum. Rookie's up for whatever. I love him. And we're gonna let Faye have a chance. Because I think she kind of deserves one. So let's do this. Oh, well, let's give her this one then. Uh, ooh, plus two quickness. Sure. There you go. All right, let's go. Faye. Oh, oh, me? Thank you. Thank you for believing in me. Because I think the scribes do too. I think so too, sugar. Ow. If you intend to prevail in the rites, you would be wise to not exclude me next time. Oh my god, Jadariel, I'm so sorry. Nightwings, I trust you all are well prepared. For these old eyes, you see that the rites shall be commencing momentarily. Are you quite ready too, my son? I hope so, father. Here, now let me show you. Okay, I just want to really quick recap my controls <laughs> before I jump in. Okay, X is to switch, B is to cast my aura, A is to jump and evade, and sprint is left trigger, which is really all I need to know. So let's see if the controller <clears throat> makes it easier. What? Yeah, I'm already doing, doing that. The oh the shit, I ran into him. Didn't mean to do that. Uh. Yes! Dispatched with ease. Oh shit. All three night wings. Poof. I forgot how to. Oh, he's got my. No! Throw it in. Yes. That was my own fault because I got. Look forth, my son. The waters of Jomer Mini Main be bring blessings unto us as E. Perhaps our chance has come at last. We need more blessings than to prevail against him, Father. Please keep fighting. Themselves. But shall it be enough for Dalbert and his faithful son? Hello. <laughs> oh shit. Hold on. Oh my god. I'm having such trouble because I keep forgetting that B is. A show of strength from the Nightwing's opponents. There we go. B is to cast my aura, and I keep forgetting that. It's just getting used to different controls. It is too close to call who shall prevail as yet. A second wind. Bask Holy the crap. These guys are freaking going town. Going downtown. Shall prevail at this rate. Shit. Damn it! Sails forth into the flame. Sorry, <laughs> I'm getting super salty about it. 
Nope. Peace. I don't know what this person is supposed to- Shit! Almost. Holy crap, I did it. Perhaps you shan't be quite so fortunate next time, Madame Lucinda. We did it. <laughs> yes, Edwin. Yeah, I mean, I guess. <laughs> I wonder what will happen to the fate. An honorable triumvirate determined to uphold the traditions of the rites, led by the Kerr. Okay, so they're called the fate. They seemed so nice, didn't they? Exiles of the Nightwings, the dawn is yours, and may you earn your freedom. But father, the dawn might have been ours. We failed, and I have failed you. Nonsense. We are the fate. We do what is ordained and nothing less. Now let us go, my son, for I am weary once again. There is much to learn from this experience. A flash of inspiration for next time. That was good. See that, chums? Old Rookie Greentail's got some biting him yet. Good job, Rookie. Rookie deals an additional five when plunging into the episode. Ooh, I like that. Okay, let's do that one. A blessing from the Alpha Chief himself. Fantastic. The next um, round. hello. Excuse me? I mean, would you excuse me for a moment, do you think? Sure. You, you're one of them. What do you, what do you want? Father needs me. Or what do you want? Oh, it's him. What do you want? Father needs me. Oh, I'm sorry. I think that I forgot what I was going to say. I'm so embarrassed. I... What is the matter with you? It is against the rights for us to even speak like this. Um... I did not know that, I don't think. No one said anything like that to me, but then all this is very new to me, and so I thought maybe... You cannot be serious. Yes, I mean, I like to laugh. A lot. And and you, how about you? She's just trying to be nice, and he's like... This is a Nightwing's trick. Father told me not to speak with any of you. But I just... I have to go. Wait, Almer, wait. I think that was your name. Was that even your name? Uh. Wait. No. Oh, she's so sweet. Don't be a fucking asshole to her. Look how adorable she is. Also, if, if the stuff is still janky, I don't know why it's being such a freaking jerkwad, but it is. Um, For some reason it has... My computer's been having trouble tracking like really fast... Cri <gasps> Our musician <laughs> vanished. <laughs> As you return to the wagon after besting the fate, you notice Jadario tense up and frown. Where did he go? Who? Wait, the sleeping guy? The minstrel. He's gone. You see it is true. There is no trace of the lone minstrel who had been lying still in the corner of the wagon all this time. You join the others and search for him outside. 
Your fellow exiles have revealed nothing to you of the lone minstrel or how they found him, though you sense their concern as they scour the vicinity for him. We'll worry about the minstrel, my friend. Or, yeah, we'll worry about the minstrel, my friend. You worry about the stars. Wherever they guide us, we're going. Wait, I want to know more about the dude who just up and, you know, did the whole teleportation outside of the wagon for no reason. Oh, so we gotta click on Jomer? Nope, click on Jomer, right? Oh. Haub, the Midnight Star. The Midnight Star burns bright over the standing stones at the edge of flagging hands. Oh, yeah, that's where I want to go. That's where I want to go. Let's do that. Everyone, we're headed back east, all the way across the valley. Towards the cairn of Haub, then. According to the stars, the next rite shall soon commence here. The accursed imp here felled the mighty bone titan, Shaq's six shoulders. Oh, say that five times fast. That's right, we have to risk it. What if that minstrel guy doesn't turn up by then? We shall find him, on this night or another. They continue searching for some time, however the minstrel is nowhere to be found. Dude just up and vanished for no reason. Okay, let's go in here and see what's going on inside, and then we will commence our stuff, I think. Actually, I think we'll let it save. Uh, the bundle of sticks Faye insists on hanging in the rafter. She believes it brings good fortune. Taj, are you mad at me? After having prevailed against the fate in the right last night, you find Jadario off on her own. You sense she wants to talk about your decision to exclude her from conducting the right. Reader, you should know that I did not expect to be relegated to being a bystander in this. I respect your decision to exclude me in this case, though at the time I did not think the others would prevail without me. A lesson learned even at my age. Now, if you would excuse me, we shall be departing soon. She departs to check on things outside. You sense that she has no misgivings about what transpired and is more concerned at present about the missing minstrel. Oh, good. She's not mad at me. I thought she was going to be mad at me for leaving her, but she actually handled it very maturely. Oh. Okay. The minstrel's gone. I don't like that he just vanished, but it did autosave. So now that it has been autosaved, we're going to call it uh, an episode. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Sorry, I'm moving that thing around, but I'm, I'm really happy with the controls. I just gotta like relearn them because I was using the computer keyboard before and now I got an actual controller hooked up to my um, thingadoo. So yeah, my, my doodad. I'll just have to um, get in the habit of pushing the right ones and not being a total idiot. B is to attack, <laughs> I have to remember that. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys liked this episode. I hope you guys are liking this game. I'm really enjoying it. As always, um, Supergiant Games makes absolutely gorgeous things. I can't say that enough. You know, they always have a great soundtrack. They always have amazing voice acting. They always have a, a beautiful, sometimes bittersweet story. So, you know, I'm really looking forward to seeing where this goes uh, the more I play. But thank you guys for coming in. I love you. I adore you. Thank you for... Um, any new subscribers that are, you know, in the house, thank you so much for subscribing. It's, it's awesome that you would do that, and um, I'm very happy that you did, and I'm very happy that you're going on this journey with me. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys next time, okay? All right. Bye!